Hello everyone, it's me again, and today I'm going to show you how to set up GitHub. Now, if you have already seen my, if you haven't already seen my development um, series, so how to set up your development environment, go watch that. It will be on the screen right now. Um, and this is the, con uh, the the second part, I would say. It is not necessarily needed, but I would recommend you to set up GitHub. Now, I've already told what GitHub is about in my development uh, video. So GitHub is about showing code to other people. Now, how do we set this up? What you need is a GitHub account. So what you want to do is go to github.com and just create a new account. It will be pretty easy, pretty straightforward. And yeah, then you got your account. What you also need is a program from GitHub, either for Windows or for Mac. Uh, Windows, the site is windows.github.com and for Mac, as you might guess, mac.github.com. So you want to download that program and install it. Once you have done that, you get this screen, which is the program. Um, this is an easy way to push your source code, which is uploading it to GitHub and clone it, which is basically downloading it. And this is a really easy program which lets you easily do that. Now in order to uh, push something to GitHub, to the GitHub website, we need to create a repository. A repository is basically a collection of all the data from one project. Okay, so as I said before, we have a folder in my tutorials called source. And I renamed it to mouse does mods which is now our mod name. So mouse.mods underscore common and resources is in the folder mouse.mods. Now we want to create the repository mouse.mods right here. How do we do that? Just click on create and give it the exact same name as here. So mouse.mods. Give it a little description. Um, Minecraft modding tutorials by mouse tutorial cool now you want to select the right location so please pay attention um, this is really you need to select the exact location so you want to go to my tutorials and select source don't go inside source don't select mouse as mods just click select source hit select map and this will make sure that it will get the right map. So as you can see, it also already gets the right map. Now you can, you need to push it to GitHub. And if you want, but you need a paid account, you can keep the code private. If you have a paid account, you can do that, but I'm not going to do that. So hit create. Now we have a repository, mouse does mods. And as you can see, there are two files already. If I open up mouse of mod, you can see that it created two files. Now these are files needed for GitHub. We don't need them right now. So just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to create a new text file inside here called la 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 la. And we're going to push this to GitHub. Now if I refresh this, you can see la 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 la. The text is in. Okay, so how do we put it, push this? Now you want to select the files that you want to push. I don't want to push these. And you want to make a comment message. So um, setting up GitHub repository repository test. Cool. You can give it the description uh, if you want. I'm not going to do that. And just hit commit. Now commit is basically uh, a waiting room for code that needs to be pushed. We have set what it is about. It is just not pushed yet. How do we push it? Now the first time you want to click on publish. The second time it will be sync. Um, sync will push the code that is in your comments section which is in the waiting room and it will download stuff which has been changed by someone else if you allowed him to. So when we now go back to GitHub and refresh our page, we should see mouse does mods by under your repositories. And you can see that my text file is in GitHub now. 
So you can also do this for Java files. You can read them from other people. Uh, for example, uh, Equivalent Exchange has a repository. So I can see what is in the source code of Equivalent Exchange. So this is how you do it. Now, the only thing you need to know is how to give me your repository. That's really easy. Just copy this code, this URL, and give it to me. And I can see what's wrong with it or what you need to change. Now, I'm going to also put, um, upload my repository each time. So it's going to have different tutorials. And if you want to see what I added in the tutorial, just click on commit right here in my repository. And you can select the repository that you want to see. So as you can see, this file has been changed. Now this doesn't say too much yet, but if I go to my previous repository and go to commits, you can see that I made all these tutorial sections. And you can see, okay, he added a world generator. He added this line of code and he added this line of code. Now that is really easy so you can actually see what I added during that tutorial. So I hope you liked it. I hope you're going to use GitHub because it's so so easy. And I hope I'll see you next time. So this was my tutorial. I'll see you next time.